You know what, guys? I think most of my real-life nightmares start off like this. <laughs> Ooh! Yeah, there's rather a lot of uh, Blood Moon enemies going on around here. There's probably about 15,000 combined health between all of these folks. I think there's like eight zombie mermans and then like three or four wandering eyes. Yeah. If we don't get ourselves an epic drop from this lot, then I don't know what the heck's wrong with this game. But uh, yeah, hello everybody. My name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the Let's Play series. You join me in another Blood Moon after having a day of just capturing butterflies. As you can see, we've got a pretty sizable collection going on here, which I think is cool. And all I'm doing at the moment is just trying to summon as many of these Blood Moon mobs as we possibly can. There's another wandering eye right there. Because, yeah, I want to try and get some new drops, guys. There's a whole bunch of new stuff in the Blood Moon. And I want to try and get them, okay? So, yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Uh, if you do want to continue to show your support with this series, do be sure, of course, to drop a like rating. I'd very much appreciate it, my friends. We're literally just going to keep doing this until the Blood Moon is over. And then we're going to pwn the ever-living poop out of these guys. And yeah, I'm hoping we'll get ourselves at least some sort of epic drop. I don't know how rare the rare drops are, but I guess we'll find out, huh? <laughs> so many guys. Oh my god. Dude, there's definitely a fan art opportunity here. Wandering eyes, zombie mermen, like loads of them just trying to get in. I'm just casually fishing inside of my hut here. <laughs> well, there we go, my friends. I get... Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. That's insanity! Holy moly, dude, this is gonna take a freaking age to do, dude! What the heck? Wow, I mean, yeah. I mean, let's be honest, using my yo-yo here is probably gonna be the most effective way we do this, huh? It's almost tempting to open up a second block space, but the risk there is that the wandering eyes might be able to get in, right? I don't know, man. I feel like we should be, uh, you know, better safe than sorry, you know? Oh, okay. Here we go, my friends. They're starting to perish now. There we go. Oh, we got a vampire frog stuff. Nice. I wonder what the actual percentage chance is of getting that. I honestly don't know, but I'm very happy to have that. I'm pretty sure that's a new summon weapon, right? More chum buckets. Okay, coolio. And hey, a money trough. I didn't know you could get money troughs from those guys. Oh, fantastic. Dude, that is actually very, very cool. All right, vampire frog staff. 12 summon damage. Summons a vampire frog to fight for you. There you go. Go do your thing. And then in the meantime, maybe I need to like... How am I going to do this? How am I going to take these guys out, huh? Maybe I just like do this. There we go. Seems a lot easier, doesn't it? Well, guys, I imagine we've got a fair amount of money to pick up down there, and certainly chum buckets as well. Yeah, we've got a fair amount of those to come. Hey, would you look at that? Some more chum, and then we've got just this guy to go, and then that's officially the end of the Blood Moon. Yeah, we done did it, my friends. We survived. We got epic stuff. Yeah, how much did we get? Uh, so we've got seven gold coins out of that. That's not too bad. 55 chum buckets. Holy poop sack. That is a great amount. Okay, and then we have ourselves a vampire frog staff. That might have a do. All right, finish stuff. Your time has come to be retired. Okay, so I'm so glad we got a money trough. I legitimately did not know you could get that kind of stuff from, well, I mean, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? You know, you get money troughs from all of the other Blood Moon OG dudes, right? You know, the little zombie, blood zombie dudes and the dripplers. But I didn't realize you can get them from the new dudes as well. So I'm very, very happy to see that. Also, uh, yeah, you guys very correctly said in the last episode that I was quite a colossal idiot. You know, we were going ahead and trying to rustle up enough money to buy some stuff from the traveling merchant. And little did I realize we had a whole bunch of gold coin piles right next to the house. Rest assured, my friends, when I watched that back in editing, I I, I had a pretty red face from the amount of times I was face palming. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I don't even know what to say, man. Just, yeah. Yeah, just, I apologize. Sometimes I'm just such a colossal idiot. It's actually kind of unbelievable. So, yeah, you guys, you guys are going to have to kind of get used to it, man. I mean, I'm used to it. I'm used to me being a colossal dumbo. So, 
<sighs> I, I don't even know what to say, man. Let's go ahead and do a fishing quest. Let's go ahead and explore some more. And also, why don't we go ahead and get our first actual base done for Cloud City. Now, to do that, we are going to need a sky mill, okay? And what that means is we may need to make ourselves some grav potions. Now, as far as I can remember, grav potions, they require... As far as I can remember, they require feathers... And then some other things, which I can't remember. But, uh, yeah. I don't know, man. We'll, we'll figure that out in just a sec here. But, like I say, for now... Oh, that was quick. I'll take it. I'll take it. What do we got here? Fishing potion, apprentice bait. Nice. All right. I ain't going to complain about that. We've got plenty of fishing potions now, my friends. Look at that. We've got 13 of them. 13 times 8 is uh, quite a lot. Ah. Okay, so here we go. Fire Blossom, Deathweed, and Blinkru are all required... For a grav potion. Oh. Yeah. Okay. We don't have easy access to any of that yet. So I am going to go ahead on a limb and say that maybe just exploring a whole bunch of underground chests. That's probably the, the, the best way to go in terms of this. So I think what we're going to wind up doing then is maybe just like heading into the caves. Seeing if we can find some epic stuffs. Huh. I just realized, guys. Check this out. This minecart rail. We never actually explored the right hand side of it. So... I guess we need to change that, don't we? See if this leads to anywhere. There's a couple of vases, I guess. Ooh, I can no longer see. That is less than ideal. All right, guys. Well, here we are. Underground house. And it's a band of regeneration. Okay, I mean, that's okay and all. But uh, I wouldn't mind like a, 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 a magic mirror or something at this point. That would be very, very nice. Ooh, sapphire. Ah, Beautiful, 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 beautiful. The more of those we can find, the better we're going to be equipped for whatever it is we may want to do. And talking of which, there's another one. <laughs> All right, should we go ahead and go full hog? Maybe revive the get the platinum armor challenge? That could be a cool idea because if we get that, I feel like we're going to be like pretty much invincible until we get ourselves better armor, you know? I don't know, man. Could be a cool idea. Oh, hey, Skeletoni. Get out of here, buddy. <clears throat> there we go. Get riggedy riggedy wrecked. Okay, uh, anything over this way? Uh, it looks like the cave continues. I like that. Wait, there's a trap down there. It's a tarp. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This goes all over the place, huh? All right, well, there's topaz. There's a tiny bit of platinum. I mean... Not them too bad. All these little amounts of stuff eventually are going to total up to be one massive amount of resources, right? Ooh, undead miner! Undead miner! Come on, baby! Bone pickaxe! Gimme, 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 gimme! Ah! Oh. Alright, never mind. I didn't want it anyway. Hey, a gem tree! Alright, come on! Gem corn! Yeah, we got one! Nice! Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Right. We're going to try our best to get rid of every single trap in our world, okay? Because I am so tired of dying to traps. It's so annoying. Can you, like... Oh, God. Die, please, darn it. All right. And we're out of torches. Uh, never mind. And don't worry. I didn't forget that is platinum here. We will, of course, go ahead and pick it up. There we go. I think maybe... I think this is a three-bomb job. Yeah. Hey, man, if there's one thing I'm starting to get good at, it's blowing stuff up in Terraria. <laughs> uh, excuse me? I think I know what this is. This is one of those dead man's chest things, right? There's, like, explosives all over the place. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, you guys were telling me about these. It's literally a chest. It's like a trapped chest in Minecraft, right? It's a chest that's uh, linked up to a bunch of explosives or whatever else to try and kill you. And then, apparently, if you disarm it, you get all of the stuff that's inside of it. Yay! Band of regen, dead man's chest. Yeah, there it is. That's literally what it's called. Hey, there's a dude here. Hey, buddy. All right, it'd be kind of cool to see where he winds up. I'm keeping those explosives, though, man. They are all for me. All right, are you going to leave me anyway, buddy? It'd be kind of cool if you did. All right, I'm just going to follow this guy. Maybe he leads me... Oh, oh, okay, okay, he did. He led me somewhere. Another... Oh, oh, warding. Okay, so... Oh, okay, platinum bars. Very, very nice. I'll take those. I'll take the regular healing potions. I will also take 
this cloud in a bottle as well, just because, well, I mean, it's cloud in a bottle. Why would I not take it? Oh, uh, look at that. A little army of hoplites. <laughs> they haven't met my yo-yo yet, have they? Soccer. All right, let's see. Can we get like a gladiator helmet or something? That'd be kind of cool. No? No, uh, just a bunch of javelin by the looks of it. Get, get out of it. There we go. Whoa! All right, well, that actually kind of worked out pretty well, huh? Worked out for us. Killed a piranha in the process. <laughs> what a dummy. All right, uh, let's chuck away those things. Oh, actually, I kind of want to have the marble blocks. I feel like those would actually not be too bad in terms of, you know, things to use in Cloud City. You know, it's a white block at the end of the day. It's almost tempting to use that instead of sunplate. Ooh. I don't know, man. Maybe we'll have to give that a bit of a go in uh, just a bit here. Ooh. Is that a trapped one? Doesn't look like it. I think it's a regular one. It is. Okay, so we've got another mace on the go. Uh, not too fussed about that. Not too fussed about that. I'm just going to chuck that. I'm going to take this, replace that, and then get that as well. There we go. Lovely. Oh, there's a pinky below us, guys. Wait, 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 wait. Where's our bombs? Where's our bombs? We've got to get down to that pinky, man. I can't pass up a pinky. That is one thing I will never do. There he is. Hey, buddy. Uh-oh, there's a hoplite on the go, though. Oh, oh, gotta be careful. Thankfully, Pinky does, like, no damage. These guys, on the other hand, you need to perish, sir. Oh, I need to not... What the heck is going on down here? There's a freaking crab rave, guys! There's an actual crab rave going on! <laughs> what? What the hell? All right. Oh, God. Oh, I'm in trouble here. Can you, like, not? Come on. Go away. Right, and then Pinky. Uh, we've got to dismantle this crab rave. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay, I think we're good, guys. Right, let's get rid of these freaking things here. Oh, wow. Those guys were, like, totally protecting a heart crystal as well. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. Give me that. Give me that crystal. Yeah. Wait. No, that's not right. There we go. Beautiful. Huh. That's weird. You get water chests that aren't in water. Uh... Okay. All right, so we've got ourselves an inner tube, another Spelunker potion. That's pretty cool. And believe it or not, we've actually got two hearts up here. Very, very nice. All right, so, yep, there's one there. There's one in the water here as well, which, of course, we need to go and grab ourselves real quick. There we go, and here we go. 320 health, my friends. Ooh, we're making some serious progress. I wasn't intending on going for the 400 health goal today, but, uh, I mean... Terraria may have other ideas. Maybe we don't go for the platinum armor. Maybe we go for 400 health instead. Oh, man, the troubling merchant has arrived. Are you kidding me? Also, I noticed there was some wood up here, so that means there's got to be a chest. And there is. Beautiful. All right, what have we got here in terms of paintings? I love seeing what kind of paintings we have inside these little houses. Uh, like, what even is that? I, I can't even tell. What is it? American explosive. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Okay, I like it. I like it. Extractinator, flaming arrow. Don't really care for that. Uh, let's pop up here real quick. Come on, baby. Give me something to shout home about. That would be beautiful. Hey, we got a good old guide painting. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, we've got some more silver. But hey, a grab potion. Nice. That's exactly what we're looking for. I would ideally like to try and get multiple of those. Uh, but, uh, I don't know, man. I feel like we're starting to run a little bit low on time on the old episode. Uh, so, uh, maybe we just go for one? Try and find ourselves another island, ideally? One that's got a sky mill? I mean, I can't believe I'm spending so long trying to find a freaking sky mill. But, that's just how it is sometimes, man. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Ah, oh, yeah. Getting ever closer to the 400 health goal. We need three... More heart containers. Just three, my friends. I don't think that'd be that hard to find, actually. I mean, we've been finding them left, right, and freaking center today. Hey, what the heck is this? Some weird dirt biome underground. Huh. All right. Whatever. Uh, let's keep on going. Oh, man. I've got a good feeling about this cave, man. Oh, come on, man. Two left. Two left. Oh, man. That bar is getting real big. <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys, I, I was expecting it to take a lot longer for us to get up to 400 health. 
than anything else. Because, you know, in, in large worlds, the loot distribution, like, things are a lot more sparse, right? Because it's a large world. There's only a certain amount of loot that generates in a certain size world, right? So the larger the world, the more spread out it is. At least that's as far as I understand it anyway. So the fact that we managed to find this stuff, like, all in one episode? Like, I'm feeling pretty lucky right now. I am counting my lucky stars. Oh, nice! We got a rally! Okay, question. Is it more powerful or less powerful? Ah, uh, it's less powerful than the code one. Okay, so the code one is still top dog. So that's cool, I guess. Oh, that worm just got absolutely riggedy, riggedy wrecked. All right, we're starting to build up a bit of a yo-yo collection, guys. Are we about to try and go for a full yo-yo freaking... We try and capture every kind of yo-yo you can get in the entire game. Like, that could be a cool goal for the series. Oh, what the hell? I'm, like, inside the blocks. How? How? Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to say we have the pre-hard mode maximum of 400 health. Oh, no! But I forgot about the traveling merchant. Ugh. That is just some poor timing, that is. I achieved my goal just as he leaves, man. I would have literally teleported like a couple seconds later, dude. Ugh. All right. Well, you know, you can't win everything, can you, huh? Oh, I'm so sad. All right. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, he, he'll come back someday, but we'll never know what he had. And that's, that's, that's the stinger. Well, guys, somehow we inadvertently wound up back at the original mushroom biome that we found in the world. Like... This is kind of crazy. Like, look at how long this minecart rail is. It just hasn't stopped. Like, seriously, all the way over here. We haven't even found the end of it over this side either yet. But seriously, look how long this minecart rail goes. This is insanity. I've never seen a minecart rail go that long before. So let's, let's ride it, huh? Let's ride it. Hey. I will take that. That is pretty cool. Okay. We can start making ourselves some arena stuffs, I guess. You know, some uh, some heart lanterns. Always a nice thing to have, is it not? Ah, well, there we go, my friends. Finally found the end of this darn thing. But seriously, look at it. That probably spans, what, about like 15% of the width of the world? Just on one minecart rail. Yeah. That's so nuts. All right, well, I think I'd be doing you guys a disservice if I didn't go ahead and see where the other side leads to, right? So let's go ahead and ride this thing all the way to the end. No matter how long that takes. All right, here we go. Hey, look at the speed we got going on here. <laughs> oh, man, this is so cool, dude. Oh, oh, we found a dead... Oh, oh, okay, apparently I broke it there. I didn't even realize it did that. All right, come on, baby. Let's keep it going. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Oh my goodness, he just went flying. Hang on. Bone pickaxe opportunity. Gotta kill this guy. Come on. Ah, I really want another bone pickaxe. You know what's gonna happen, don't you, my friends? You know, because we're actually actively trying to look for it, we're not gonna get it, are we? We're never gonna get it, you know? It's only when you stop actively looking for things in the world, that's when you start getting your stuffs. Still going, still going, still going on the minecart rail. Holy crap, this goes for ages. Whoa. Oh, hey, buddy. I mean, you can. I'm pretty sure you can still get bone pickaxes from just the normal skeletons. So if I find a normal skeleton, I'm going to go ahead and kick its butt. You never know what you get. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's a higher chance of getting it from the undead miners, right? But that's not to say you won't get it from other places. Okay, so that's the end. Ooh. Hey, a gem tree. Oh, my God. Wait, is that a diamond one? That's a diamond one. Oh my goodness. We just found a diamond tree, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Man, what a way to end off this little sesh here. All right. Come on, baby. Oh my goodness. Okay, there was at least a couple bits in there. Uh, chuck away the mud. Diamond gem corn. Two of them. We can make a diamond farm, guys. <laughs> very nice. Very, very nice indeed, guys. I'm so happy with that. We have gotten so much stuff from today's freaking... Oh, my God. Look at that. 16 gold coins. Man. Dude. We've got so much epic stuff. Oh, I love it. I wasn't expecting to, you know, go spelunking slash mining all episode, but... You know what? I'm kind of down with it. I'm kind of down with it. We did manage to get ourselves a graph potion at the very least. So, you know, we have technically completed our goal. But I think we're going to go ahead and see if we can find ourselves some more Sky Islands, okay? 